glad to be back out here. Uh, you can tell it was spring. I mean, effort was good, but still sloppy, still sloppy. I mean, first day back after spring break, kind of figured it, but had some good things. I mean, just got to continue to to get a little better in that. We were uh, had a good tempo going before we left, and today was a really good tempo. You can see it got a little tired at the end. Spring break, them 10 days off. I don't know, they supposed to been running, but I don't know if they were. But it was still good effort. Uh, this guy cleaned some things up. We got young guys in a lot of positions, and you know, typical spring. So we'll see. Questions? When your team has a day like this where they're not doing the things you look for, I mean, I knew they weren't going to do it going in. That's what first day back from spring when you break like that's why I'd break and doing it before spring is crazy. But you can't. We didn't have the, the way this calendar laid. You couldn't do it. So I'm not disappointed at all. It's about what I expected. But at least there was effort, and there was, and after they made a mistake, we go back after it. You know what I mean? That's what I want to see. And I saw it. From what you did the first week, was the retention right there today? Yeah, but we had a bunch of new stuff. We ain't got time to wait. This is like a fourth day. We was in red. We were in a ton of red zone stuff today. A lot of running stuff and a lot of red zone, and that's the hard part. When you get in the red zone, third down stuff, that's what stuff really become offense and defense. You know what I mean? With defense, have a little mental bust here and there, and offense, you know, have a player in it, and then have a mental bust, you know. But but there's so many different things and different new guys out there. But I was very pleased with the effort. We just got to get cleaned up, and that's, that's typical. I thought we'd be about where we were today. When are you planning the uh, first scrimmage? Monday, next Monday. I saw the guys had the, the extra pads now. It's kind of extended to the most of the team, I guess. No, just, just came in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you, any early results or anything with them so far? I don't far? know. We, we got a guy or two ding today, so I don't know. We'll see. See how it happens. I don't know if they're concussions or not, but we'll try them out and see. Try anything, it'll help. Is that made in the knee brace? He's always had, he's had it on every day. I mean, he's, he's always had that knee. George Campbell doing? Getting back in shape. He's still not all the way. He just now got released. He's practicing getting through it, but he's getting his body back into shape and he's still got a lot. I mean, ways to go. And it's not his, I mean, about where we thought he would be in his recovery process. Is he anxious, kind of enthused, kind of happy to be out there? Yeah, George is a hard worker now. He works his butt off. He, he goes at it now. I mean, he just, he's got, you know, he hadn't been doing anything for a while. He just got to get back in it. Anybody stepping up? You lost all those veterans at receiver, Coach. Anybody stepping up out of that group? Well, I mean, it was a shame Keith got hurt because he was playing really well. But, I mean, Nooney had some plays and Tate had some plays. And, they, you know, got to continue to a lot of little things, especially when you get in the red zone. That's where one little angle, one little step, the physicality of different things, that's where we're thinking. And that's where we've always been great at here. We've always had great red zone. Like I said, we've been tops in the country for a while. And, uh, you know, that's where it's a lot of teaching. So those guys had a pretty solid day. The tight ends and the backs are doing some really nice things in there, too. What have you seen out of the end so far? Guys like Sweat, Burns, Kane Doe, Wilkerson. It was good to see Sweat back in his hand, feeling a little better from that, from the surgery on his finger, uh, getting that. Uh, Kane Doe was back at that. I'll see he was on the other field for me today, but in boards I saw some good things. Uh, Burns, I mean, you, those guys flash at you at times. You know what I mean? You're coaching going, you're coaching on the run, we'll look at it on film, but they flash at you. It seems like with Kane Doe, I mean, just looking at him today in drills, he's a guy that has a very quick footwork, real tall, oh. real lanky. That's why we recruited. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does. He's got a great body, strong, athletic. He got, you know, he got to learn to play, which I'm sure he doesn't. But he's a smart kid now. He picks things up and very conscientious about his work ethic. And when you have that group, I mean, what do you think about what that group will look like once you get? Um, well, that's what we're hoping. Healthy. I hope so. I mean, we got to get J Janaris is in there. He's healthy. He's sure. playing. He's doing good. No, it's all right. But he's doing good. But uh, you know, there, there's a lot of young talent in there that's really got to learn and take different roles and play. But they have the ability to to be some really good players in there. Josh kind of stepping into that leader with Demarcus Condo. Yeah, Josh is. Yeah, Josh practicing hard, doing good. He's still ugly, but I must say that. And I tease him about that all the time now. I'm joking. Between uh, Matthew, Roderick, and, jo and Jacob, um, you have a lot of experience at the linebacker Jacob position. Thomas flashes at you at times because he's been in college. Uh, Rice. And Jackson, I mean, all those guys. I mean, they, they got that's a good, it's a pretty good crew. I mean, they, they jump at you. Time. I mean, there's a lot when you're doing the motions and different stuff we do. I mean, there's a lot of stuff for those guys to process in there, and they're doing a pretty good job. Yeah, but you have a lot of experience, but also a lot of younger guys. It's nice to have so much experience to help those guys. Well, it is, and watching. And those guys got to play up some last year. I mean, so Emmett and Don Tavis, and those guys all got on the field. And, and Thomas has gotten on there before because he's played junior college ball, so that helps. And he's been in a system, this system is very similar. So, you know, there's a lot of carryover for him as far as terminology so he seems to be picking things up okay only a handful of power five programs have kept the same staff for i think it's three going to a third season now i mean that should fire some guys i think so that's <laughs> the stuff but that consistency does does what for, for your team well let you know what's going on gives stability guys get relationships people don't realize you know change this change that yeah that's all great 
I mean, everybody wants change in this world now. But then you, you, you remember, you're breaking relationships. You're breaking how a guy coach, how, how, what he's told to do, how, how he knows what the coach wants and how that. I mean, there's a whole, whole ball of that, and that, and that really helps when you, when you keep continuity. Then what, what's the thought press, process when you have a deficiency somewhere and it's, do we need to make a change, or, or does that, that consistency? Like you're doing that everything else? No, just if there's something that we think needs to be fixed, we'll always fix that. But there's not one of those now, so we feel very good about the group we got by far. Why do you think you've been able to, to keep this group together? Old experience, know what to do. Not enamored by all the things that, like like young players, I get giddy, want to go, grass is always greener. They've been through that. They've won championships. They've been in big-time programs. They understand what it's about. They know we got a great program. What about the, the financial commitment from the school to, as assistant salaries rise, to, to yeah, try I mean, to keep it? going to have to, yeah, yeah you got to keep fighting that battle. You're going to have to keep doing that because and, and people say, well, they, and listen, this is business. At the end of the day, it's business. Now, guys don't run for that, but at the end of the day, you, it's got to be very competitive in what you do because that's just the nature of the business. This is, whether it's facilities, whether it's, off-field support, whatever it is, that's that's the that's the key to helping these kids be the best they can be in every way. And then, you know, whether it's you know those salaries, off-field support, facilities, there's there's a ton of things, and it's a big commitment. But at the end of the day, it's what makes all the money. One more. Like our videos, then you'll love being a premium member of WarChant.com with exclusive access to breaking news, insight, and analysis from the best on the beat. Enter the promo code WARCHANT30 on our sign-up page and get exclusive premium access for free for the next 30 days. WARCHANT.COM, your ultimate Seminole sports source.